I dig, I dig, I dig in the dark. Shovel, shovel, shovel. I got my spade, I got my hole, I got my rig. Hello and welcome to the Garden Gurus. I'm Trevor Cochran. We have got another sensational program for you today. Now, if you're wondering where we are, we are definitely not in Australia. This is the summer residence of the Princess in Rasta. Now, it is just a beautiful place in Germany on the edge of the Rhine River. We'll show you around the garden. There's some summer flowering plants here that if you put into your garden now will look sensational this summer in Australia. But of course, this program is all about Australian gardens. So let's get on with the show. Digging around. This program focuses on making gardening easy. And I want you to have a beautiful environment at home in which to live. And we want to show you how easy that is. Now I'm dedicated and passionate about doing the right thing by the environment. So if we can package that all together and save you a dollar at the same time, we will. The fastest growing utility bill in the home is the power bill. But there is a way that you can reduce it and save the environment at the same time. And it's as simple as utilising roof space. Photovoltaic energy is free from the sun. And here in Australia, we're lucky to have a lot of sunshine. Before we get too far, yes, it costs to set your system up initially. But this is an investment that pays off. The cost of installing a solar power system depends on various factors, including the number of panels, the size of the inverter, the number of storeys on your home and your location. There are also other variables, such as correct positioning of panels through smart design and efficiency of the panels you select. It's not as simple as popping panels on the roof, and the old adage about you get what you pay for certainly applies when it comes to solar panels. A good quality system can cost as little as $2,500 after government incentives and realistically can pay for itself in less than five years given the right circumstances. To get started, you'll need 10 square metres of roof space as a minimum and this is enough to generate 30% of the average Australian household's energy use your PV system will generate power during the daylight hours and your ultimate goal is to use it to cover all your daytime energy use. SolarHeart has led the way with solar water heaters in Australia for over 60 years. They understand energy conservation better than anyone and they now provide high quality photovoltaic energy systems that will give you energy free from the sun and are guaranteed for five years. The most important thing would be to give them a call. They'll be able to help you with regards to the system that you might need, the location of the panels, and any other questions that you might have like rebates or even finance. The reality that most of us are dealing with these days is that our gardens are getting smaller. Now, with that in mind, a group of very clever fruit tree growers have developed a brand new range of dwarf fruit trees. These are sensational for small gardens. In fact, they grow well in pots and that makes them ideal for balconies. PlantNet is a group of growers across Australia leading the way with some real innovative thinking. You'll probably know about Pinkabelle, a natural dwarf growing form of Pink Lady Apple. It gets to about two metres tall with a similar width as it matures. But here's the thing, it produces fruit off its first year growth. So you shouldn't prune this if you want a great crop of fruit. The dwarf fruit selections include some varieties you'd loved before but couldn't grow them because they were a six metre tall tree, like peaches. Now the guys from PlantNet have used a couple of techniques to actually keep these trees nice and compact. The first is using dwarf fruit stocks and the second one is using an interspecific graft. Now what this means is the trees don't get any taller than about two metres in height with a similar sort of width. And that's absolutely ideal for producing the perfect amount of fruit that you're going to need at home in your garden. At the same time, you're not climbing trees, climbing up ladders or anything that's potentially dangerous. So it's a brilliant idea. Now, if you want to know any more information about these dwarf fruit trees, well, just check out PlantNet's website. These large, attractive trees that are just leafing up are pecans. And not only are they stunningly shaped, they also produce the wonderfully buttery-flavoured pecan nut. After the break, we head to the north coast of New South Wales to meet a grower who's just nutty about his nuts and a whole lot more. 
If you'd like to get your hands on some of the great plants in the Touch of Class collection, check out the Touch of Class Facebook page. Enter their competition and you could be taking home a spring pack of 10 plants chosen for you by the experts. I'm always looking for plants which brighten the garden through the cooler months and this one's a real beauty. It's one of the dwarf acacias or wattles and it's called winter flame. Now it gets its name because when that new growth comes through it's a beautiful bronze or fiery orange so you get this blaze of foliage colour across the tips and it's a really nice contrast to the lime green foliage. The shrub itself also has a lovely soft mounded shape to around 80 centimetres tall and one metre wide so it's very versatile in the garden. You might like to use it to create a beautiful border or informal hedge. And as a feature shrub, it's got a lovely soft look, so the foliage is a nice contrast to more rigid looking plants. You can grow it in full sun or part shade, plus it's frost and dry tolerant, so you get a great looking plant for very little effort. Just give it a good haircut from time to time to keep it in tip top condition. So next time you're looking for the perfect foliage plant that provides year round texture and interest with just that little bit of extra flair, Look out for Acacia Winter Flame. This is a New Zealand bred cordyline known as Red Fountain. Its strapleaf foliage droops down and cascades, making it perfect for rockeries and pots, as well as borders or use in garden beds. The big thing about this cordyline is, unlike all the other varieties, the prize is not just the foliage. It actually produces wonderful flower spikes and has little white and pink flowers that are heavenly fragrant. So this makes growing this plant in a pot and having the ability to bring it closer to entertaining areas so much more important. And the best self-watering pots are made by Decor, an Aussie company who led the world when it came to developing pots with water well technology. This is how it works. The pots are designed to hold soil above the water line. This means water goes through, but it doesn't sit around saturating the root system. You see, you've got a tray across the bottom here. Now, this holds the soil above. The roots grow through that, but when water comes down, it passes through and it sinks into a little well below. You can see this little pockets down here. These little holes allow soil to actually go right down to the bottom of the tray. Now, that soil acts like a wick, sucking moisture back up into the soil mass, making sure that the roots never dry out. Now, if you do over water, you don't have to worry. The design allows for any excess water to flow out. And if you use these inside, you can actually water the plant through there instead of having to pour water over the top. It's very clever. Now, the key to a great pot plant is the soil it goes in. And pots do require slightly different soils. If you live in a climate with good summer rains, a fast running tub and terracotta is a must. But for hotter summer climates, the best is a coir peat potting mix like this. It's porous, but it holds moisture longer, which is ideal for plants that sit under shade or are used indoors. Now, it's really important after you pot anything up in the garden that you give it a good watering in with this stuff, sea salt. It helps them get over transplant shock and really settles them in, gets those roots off to a great start. I've chosen the Sorrento Oblong from Decor because, well, I like that latte colour, I like the shape of it, and it's a beautiful contrast to the foliage of the Red Fountains. But you might like quite a different choice, and the good thing is there is a great range available from Decor, so check it out next time you're in your local Bunnings store. An hour and a half's drive north of Port Macquarie is a paradise filled with pecan and macadamia nut trees, plus the best Aussie garlic you're ever likely to taste. I'm heading to meet Terry Bates at his Belbara Certified Organic Farm in the fertile Nambucca Valley. Terry. Ah, oh, Kim. Nice to meet you. How are you? Oh, this looks fantastic. Yes, welcome to the farm. Oh, here isn't it is. Beautiful. Terry, you've won the Pecan Growers Association trophy for Australia's best pecans four years in a row. Yes, we're very proud of our pecans. We started growing about 12 years ago. And because we're a small grower, we focus on quality and we're certified organic and we think that's really important as well. Also, you do garlic. Yes, we, we've got two varieties of garlic. The purple garlic you can see here. The other variety is our Russian garlic here. But you can see the difference in size um, between the two. You know, it's, it's quite a dramatic difference. How can people get your pecans and your garlic as well? Uh, it's a very simple process on the internet. They can buy direct from us via farmhousedirect.com.au. To get 
fresh product directly from the farmers all over Australia. To purchase Belbara Certified Organics award-winning pecans or amazing garlic, then head to the Farmhouse Direct website. This purple garlic is awesome. Sometimes we don't have a lot of space, so creating an entertaining area that needs a little bit of softening, well, it can be done quite creatively by using things like string planters featuring that wonderful quarter line red fountain. After the break, more great garden inspiration right here on The Garden Gurus. How good would it be to have a consistently healthy pool? Imagine having an energy efficient pump, a robotic cleaner, a brand new sand filter and a professional to install it all. And while we're dreaming, imagine having a year's worth of maintenance from pool works. Joe. Well, it doesn't have to be a dream at all. All this could be yours by simply going to the Garden Guru's website and telling us in 25 words or less what makes you a healthy pool person. Then this healthy pool prize pack worth 6,000 bucks could be yours thanks to our friends at Pool Works. Here's another great living planting concept. You remember the green wall concept that Holman's introduced and we premiered on the show earlier in this season of The Garden Gurus. It's simply brilliant, a great way to grow plants up the wall, which is very handy considering gardens are getting smaller all the time. To get started, you need the kit. You also need a drill with a 6.5 millimetre bit on it, okay? That's gonna put the drill holes on the wall. Putting it all together is going to take around 30 minutes. Once secured, simply hang the panel on the bracket. You need a high quality specialised potting mix. I recommend Coco Peak Potting Mix because it's so good at holding moisture around the roots of the plant longer. It's an inert mix, meaning it lacks microbial life, so grabbing some Trofort AM is a very important addition. Planting up will require eight plants. If you're adding herbs for use next to the barbecue, then use starter pots like these Swan Valley Renaissance herbs. Oregano, sage, parsley, thyme and rosemary are all obvious as we use so much of them when cooking and they're so hardy and easy to grow. The pots click onto the panel and you just have to place the pressure regulated drippers into each pot. Each pot can be taken down at any time and changed over if you want to add a different flavour or you need to replace a tired old plant. Once done, set up the watering system by simply clicking the hose onto the unit at one of the four possible joining points. But here's the coolest idea of all. You can expand this system to add two, three or even five frames lengthways, vertical or as a block covering a fence or wall. The green wall concept really has very few limitations. You can grow all sorts of plants and it goes in most situations. So it's going to work well in small backyards, even big ones. Now the great thing about this is that it does have a watering system and the only other thing I've got to suggest to you is you make sure that you support the growth of these plants with a regular feed. Now things like annuals, vegetables and also of course herbs, they should be fed weekly if they're in high production. So use something like power feed and you can't go wrong. If you own a pool, you need to work out are you just a pool owner or are you a smart pool owner? A smart pool owner likes to save some money. So I'm about to show you a couple of steps you can take to save some bucks. The first place to start is with regular water testing, as maintaining correct water balance will keep your equipment in top working order. And in some cases, will ensure your warranty is maintained. Secondly, you need to work out how often to run your pool and pump filter each day to maintain clean and healthy water clarity. To do this, you need to run your filter at least twice a day, depending on how big your pool is and how much water your pump moves each minute. You might be running it longer than required. Thirdly, and this is the big ticket item, it's the pump. You may not be aware that on the market now there are energy efficient pumps. They come with a low, medium and high setting so you can adjust them according to how much your pool is being used. So over a period of a year, if you're not running your pool flat out, you could save up to 800 bucks. Either head on into a pool works store to check out the range or they can come poolside to do an energy audit and show you how much you would save if you switched over to an eight star energy efficient pump. The energy efficient pumps are so much quieter than they've ever been which is great for you and your neighbours, especially if your pool equipment is on the boundary. So there you have it, some great tips on how to reduce your energy costs. So get out there and start saving money. Baroque style gardens are a traditional French formal garden style 
focused on containing plants into lineal shapes. They were showpiece gardens designed to be seen and enjoyed by audiences. And they are a show-offs garden. La Favorite is on the outskirts of the town of Rastat, home to the spectacular Rastat Palace. And you could visit as part of a scenic tour's 15-day romantic Rhine and Moselle river cruise from Basel to Amsterdam. You'll visit up to six countries, including Switzerland, France, Luxembourg, the Netherlands, Belgium, as well as Germany. Cruising on board a scenic spaceship, guests will get to enjoy all-inclusive luxury with complimentary beverages all day, every day. A private butler service, all meals with a choice of dining from full breakfasts, buffet and daily a la carte lunches. Casual fare at the River Cafe and don't forget Portobello's fine Italian dining. All onshore excursions and activities are included and guests will enjoy scenic free choice activities where guests get to choose what activities they want to do at the pace they want to go, from relaxed to active, and enjoy exclusive scenic enriched highlights, including a private dinner and concert in the Grand Hall of Rustart Palace. How's this for a great idea? It's a living picture frame. It's something that you could actually create at home. And if you want more information on these types of things, visit our website. After the break, more great garden inspiration right here on The Garden Gurus. Have you thought about making the switch to getting energy free from the sun? Well, compliments of Garden Gurus and Solar Heart, you could win one of three prize packs valued at up to $5,000. The prize includes your choice of a Solar Heart solar water heater or a Solar Heart power PV system, and the prize includes installation. All you have to do is head to our website and answer the question, what is Solar Heart's slogan? It's that easy. And before you know it, you could be enjoying energy free from the sun. Lawns are an important part of any garden. They're both functional and environmentally important. Functional because you won't find a better surface to play on, to run, to jump, to fall over, or just to walk on. When it comes to the environment, they're absolutely sensational. They absorb pollutants. They also cool the garden, reducing water demand and even the energy demands inside your house. So having a lawn in a garden, it's a very good thing. But growing turf isn't always easy. For instance, if you have a lawn but it's a bit thin and needs thickening up, what do you do? Well, now you can fix this problem by reaching for a new two-in-one blend of grass seed and lawn builder slow-release fertiliser for use in oversowing an existing lawn to thicken it up and leave it looking lush and green. To do it, you apply Lawn Builder Lawn Thickener after closely mowing the lawn and then raking over it with a sand rake, roughing the surface up, and determine the physical area you need to cover. Apply two handfuls per square metre by walking backwards, dispersing the seed evenly as you go. This is a brilliant way to establish a lawn, but you're best to do it when the conditions are warm and, really important, moist. Those two things are critical to success when it comes to establishing a lawn. A lawn often has a lot of different aspects, shady in one place, hot and sunny in another, and this is where you need the right grass type for the right purpose. In shade, the Lawn Builder Seed and Feed Sun and Shade is the right option. Now this lawn environment's completely different to the other one. It's open, exposed, it gets a lot of sun for the majority of the day, and it gets high traffic. You need a different type of grass for this situation. That's where Seed and Feed Cooch really comes into its own. It makes a really good grass for this type of environment. Lawn Builder Seed and Feed Kai Q has to be the toughest grass on the planet. It originates from Africa and when you've got patches in your lawn like this and such heavy wear and tear, this is the perfect grass to get going. Now we do have vehicles turning around on this. It is a Kai Q base but by seeding through here we're going to end up getting a beautiful coverage and of course this is going to handle hot and cold conditions. Remember with all the seed and feed lawn builder range that you are going to get a fertiliser in with the seed that's going to sustain that seed as it germinates and keep it growing for a good three months before you take over feeding it with lawn builder. Good gardens start with good soil and there's plenty of ways to improve your soil at home. Spreading mulch will retain moisture through the hot dry summer months. 
Adding compost, aged manure and other organic matter helps hold water, especially in sandy ground. It builds soil structure and feeds the earthworms. And it's not just the earthworms we're feeding. There are tiny microscopic organisms living in this soil that have a very special relationship with our plants and are critical to their survival. It's these microbes that bring life to our soil. As we add organic matter, the microbes turn nutrients held in that matter into easily accessible plant food. They soften and aerate the soil, making it easier for plant roots and earthworms to penetrate deeper and drought-proof themselves. So it's vital our soil microbes are looked after. There are plenty of ways to keep our soil microbes happy and healthy. First, keep the soil moist but not saturated. Soil microbes need both water and air to survive. A neutral pH that's not too acidic or alkaline is preferred and of course, give them plenty of organic matter. What causes soil microbes to struggle though is high applications of chemical fertilisers. These can create serious problems with a natural soil biology. That problem may be a thing of the past though, with the introduction of a revolutionary new fertiliser that not only adds nutrients but also microbes as well. Developed by Australia's own Langley Fertilisers, Trofort AM is a specially designed all-purpose fertiliser that contains up to 60 natural minerals and up to 24 strains of beneficial soil microbes, including fungi, that colonise the ground and improve its fertility. It makes perfect sense that by adding extra microbes to your soil, along with a fertiliser, you'll help inoculate and improve the efficiency of poor and underperforming soils, plus adding nutrients for better colour, better fruiting and better flowering plants. The microbes are held in the outer layer of each prill and are activated by water. Troforte M All Purpose releases slowly and only needs applying every five to six months and it's great for potted plants too. Plants have been forming a symbiotic relationship with soil microbes and fungi for over 400 million years and that association looks set to continue with the Troforte AM All Purpose Fertiliser. To check out the full range and your nearest stockers, simply go to their website. Well, that's it for this week's show. I hope you enjoyed it. What do you think of Rustat? It is just beautiful. And if you want a holiday you'll never forget, well, the best way to do it through Europe is with Scenic Tours. It's a luxury holiday, and believe me, the things you see, you're going to love. Now we are back next week in Australian gardens with some ripper stories. You don't want to miss it. I'm Trevor Cochran. We'll see you then for The Garden Gurus. <laughs>